Now, I can't wait for y'all to meet today's graduate speaker. His story is one of a kind and demonstrates the character it takes to achieve your dreams if you put your mind to it. This is a dreamer who envisions his future and makes it happen. With an optimistic mindset, he became an important figure to his colleagues and is here to showcase his story. I'm sure everyone in the room will be inspired and I present you Zeeshan Nazir. It was the second day of my internship and my manager gave me this quip document. And in it, it described how basically our team managed major integrations and projects and how they planned it out. I later took that document, went back to my desk, looked at it, and I had to go back to my manager. And I went to him and said, is this really what you guys use to manage these big integrations. And as he saw my shocked face, he responded, well, unfortunately, yes, because we're not really project managers here, so, and I completed for him. It's basic. I mean, mind you, this was my second day of internship, and I thought to myself, what did I just do? But. Three months down the line, my very manager was laughing about that very moment, about being called out by me on the second day of internship for having a basic project plan. But, I mean, as a project management student, I knew what needed to be done, and I took action. And we com completed this documentation project and created this really nice project planner. And you know what? They liked it. And it's the base of their project plan today. But, before I even started Europe, I knew where I wanted to go. I mean, most of you asked me, where do you want to go intern? Or where do you see yourself in the next six months? And thankfully, in the city, we'd be standing outside. And all I needed to do was point up to the sky. Most of you know where I'm pointing up to, though. But with that in mind, I left no stone unturned and stayed up late working on deliverables and even that little Slack project, which Ignite mostly hates me about till today. But I mean, it was because of that that encouraged me. But when I saw my internship folder and saw Salesforce, I was probably the most happiest person at that time. But the truth is, the road that got me there wasn't the smoothest. After losing my father in 2004, my mother decided to move back to Pakistan from the United States. And you know what, that transition, it wasn't easy for me. But the things that made it hard have made me stronger. And in 2016, I decided that, you know what, it's time to go back to the United States as a college student by myself. So I set out on that mission, and I started school at Clarkson University in Potsdam, New York. It was a new chapter in my life, but again, unfortunately, not the best one. The 2016 elections really shifted something. It shifted something, especially within rural America, because I was not accustomed to questions like, hey, you're not white, so you're not American, so where are you from, right? Or a roommate who casually hung up a flag that really meant something in our dorm, but at the time, I didn't really know what it meant, because as you know, I lived in Pakistan most of my high school years. But when some of my African-American friends came into my dorm and said, hey, what is that? And I was like, I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, it's my roommates. I'm letting them do him. I'm doing me over here. But I mean, 
Then they point out, hey, that's the Confederate flag. And then I thought to myself, and it all came back to me that what that really meant. And these things were not just disturbing, but they hurt. Over there, people only knew I came from California. I never told them that I came from Pakistan. I was afraid to really tell them who I truly was. And to the point that I even changed where I came from or where I lived on Facebook to San Francisco, California, and not Lahore, Pakistan. I mean, yeah, it was that serious. But between the feeling of not belonging and realizing that I really didn't want to stay there and I didn't really want to do engineering, I knew I couldn't be at Clarkson anymore. And to my surprise, my mother suggested I move back to California. And on that flight to San Francisco with just two suitcases to my name, and my auntie in Cupertino who had a place for me to stay for a while until I figured out something in the East Bay, and God give her strength as she fights breast cancer. But on that flight, I knew I couldn't look back. And back in the days, I watched a lot of YouTube. And you know, one thing that really caught my eye was like people making two to $300 a day off a of boosted board delivering for Caviar and Postmates. I mean, for those of you who don't know what a boosted board is, it's, it's an electric skateboard. So I thought to myself, hey, why not get a bicycle and make more? Well, I mean, the funny thing is you need a lot of stamina and <laughs> yeah. So that didn't really turn out too good in the start, but you know, as time went on, I gained that stem and I started making that two to $300 a day. But after coming home every day with literal blood, sweat, and tears, I would think to myself, was this really worth it? And spoiler alert, it wasn't. My cousins and I, we worked on a startup and like most startups, it wasn't really successful. But we learned a lot. And I took away a lot from them. I knew and learned that I could manage things. And I realized something during that time. I realized and learned and liked the feeling of how it really felt to work on a project I was passionate about something I had a longing for. And because of that very reason, I thought about my cousin, Moise Qureshi, and his journey when he started Europe in 2016 at the time I started my college career. And now he's here at Salesforce working full time and I'm here giving this graduation speech. So, his story is what really inspired me, and I took that step towards this program, and I got accepted to the program. And even though living on that Europe stipend felt like, made college feel like paradise, uh, I kept pushing forward. And yes, I earned, earned six infractions in one week. But I learned from my mistakes. And when I walked into my internship for the first time, even though I knew I still had a lot to learn, I knew that I had the grit and determination to be successful. And during my six months at Salesforce, I made real contributions to my team and to the bottom line. The forecasting that I had turned in on a monthly basis to my senior vice president gave them the information they needed to save hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yes, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Also, the team that I work on is small and new. And if the three core people were to leave as of today and three new people were to come in, they would not know what to do, how to do, what to do, or like what's even going on. But because of my documentation project, my team now had a roadmap to preserve that very knowledge and help us to continue to improve. But what was really the best parts of my internship? 
The best part of my internship was the feeling that I was amongst family. I knew that I could be myself, and when I could be myself, I could do my best work. I mean, in a world where people think you're not qualified because you do not have a college degree, you guys believe that talent looked in many different ways. You gave us work, trust, and responsibility. And because of that, I walked into my internship every day between 7.30 and 7.45. And before you knew it, it was 4.30 PM. And I'm not here complaining that I was there for so long, but I'm complaining that that was not enough time for me. Because I was having a good time. And time flies when you're having a good time. And even though I was putting intense mind and power into all my work, I knew that I loved what I was doing. And that's what mattered. And honestly, I couldn't have gone through this journey alone. So to our friends and family who have supported us on this journey, thank you. Because truly, none of us gets to this point alone. And personally, I would like to thank and name a few people. And after I say your name, I would like you to stand up, recognize yourself, and remain standing for a moment until I tell you guys to sit down. <laughs> so. Now, these are those individuals who always looked out for me, either during learning and development, internship, or both, who always pointed me towards the right tracks when I started turning sideways. These particular people entered into my life in different times, but left an impact that was equally effective. And in no particular order, I wanted to start off with my coaching group. So, Carlin, Abdullah Ibrahim, Jennifer Meza, Christian Velasquez, Tatiana Holliday, and Mia Shahab. Um, two of those people are not here with us today. Two of those people are not here with us today. So is out of state, and so is Mia Shahab. But Mia Shahab is uh, at his sister's wedding, so congratulations to him for that. And so he has a special spot in my heart, and he told me if I don't shout him out properly, he won't believe that I was speaking on stage, <laughs> even though I'm still here. But he's a really amazing person, and he is a gem for Europe. And honestly, if you don't know him, you should go get to know him. And next off are some other individuals within my LC. Once again, shout out LC Ignite. But I wanted to thank Jahi Davis, my slime, my OG, real one right there. He always stayed true to me from day one, and he's probably the realest person over here. Next, next uh, Christian Perez, represent from the Stack Squad over there, uh, my man. And. Now, moving on to some of the people outside of my LC. First shout out goes to Jay Munoz, my man over here. Looking out for me in and outside of the program, giving me that game. And honestly, I came back literally to California in 2018. He's been looking out for me since I started this program. Um, next is Safina Huang a real good friend, who was a major part of my internship at Salesforce as well, and a big support for me in helping me find my job there. Um, oh, also, I forgot from my previous LC, another shout out to um, Valerie Um, who was also a great help during my time during L&D internship, and also supported me through a lot of things. And last but not the least, to probably the strongest mom I know here within this program, Miriam Huntsia, who has gone through a lot within this program. There's her daughter. Shout out to Lila. But yeah, another round of applause for these amazing people. And now you guys could sit. But look. The reason why I made you all stand was to make a point, to show how life evolves and connections are established and how those connections then turn into relationships because we never imagined to meet before this program, but we did.
And it was in those moments where we were the most vulnerable to share our thoughts and listen to each other with open ears is what has made those bonds into what they are today. And that is the point I wanted to make to everyone because I realized to be successful within this world, one must be vulnerable enough to put themselves out there and build the, those trusts and bonds and relationships. And no doubt, everyone walked out of here with new friendships and relationships. Because look, here's the thing. When I look around this room, I see hundreds of people with a purpose a passion. People who have made contributions to their companies and internships. I mean, we are a group of individuals who are not afraid to take a leap of faith into the unknown and come out on top. Because we all have a story, and some of those stories, just like mine, have included great struggles and adversity. And honestly, all we needed was an opportunity, and I'm so glad to be here today to celebrate that very journey with you. And last but not the least, to our managers and partners, and special shout out to my manager, Brendan Redman, who supported me through my internship immensely. I wanted to thank you, and on this day, I also wanted to challenge you. Because for each and every one of us who walks across this stage today, there's hundreds and thousands of more individuals outside of this very room who have the same or more potential than we do to contribute to your companies, to bring in new perspectives and help your bottom line. Remember all of us in this room today and don't forget us because our potential and our contributions are really important to you guys as well. And keep those very doors open to ensure that everyone who is willing to work hard will have a chance to excel. Also, act as ambassadors of this cause. Because honestly, if you guys didn't have those doors open today, this very room, at this very moment, would have been empty. Thank you.